Alright guys, so welcome back to another episode of the Granite Glades today. This is part 3 of the LAX airport recreation project. So in the last episode, what we did was we got the um, elevated highway infrastructure in as well as some of the basic terminal structure. What we're going to do this episode is... Not, we're not going to finish the terminal structure quite yet, but we're going to do the rest of the highway infrastructure and we're going to do the, um, like between the terminals, like you see that big area in the middle of the terminals, we're going to do that, the parking garages, we're going to do stuff like that. So what I'm doing right now is I'm basically trying to get these roads the right distance away because on Google Maps, uh, if you look at it from a bird's eye view, there are exactly pretty much three lanes showing in this area. Um, I wanted this video to be a little bit less like the other one uh, in the sense that I wanted it to, I want this to be a bit more of a chill video where um, I don't talk as much and you know you can kind of just enjoy the footage but for now um i do want to say that this took a very very excuse me a very long time to plan not quite as long as the runway taxiway layout but this project has taken me hours and hours and hours to plan and build so like so far i have nine hours of footage including the stream of building it and i have not built anything without the footage uh without recording it so i basically spent nine hours just building this and probably an additional 15 or 20 um planning it because you know I really want to make this perfect, uh, well not perfect because perfect is the enemy of good, uh, however, um, I do want to make this very, very good. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I actually had a lot of trouble with this and actually getting the bottom highway to actually line up with the elevated highway. I don't know why I had such trouble with it, but I did, so I'm not gonna like I think I maybe missed one if not one then maybe two roads on in this middle like highway setup uh, I maybe missed one or two um, the thing is I can't actually do exact measurements because on Google Maps like you know and also in City of Skylines it only shows you like 17 units or 18 units it will not show you 17.125 units which some of these a lot most of these calculations are decimals and I just round them so it ends up not completely lining up but you know it's oh well you know I can't really do anything about it so I decided to just go with it so I think for now I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy a bit of the video if I see something that I want to talk about I will definitely talk about it but uh, for now enjoy the time lapse
Okay, so while I'm doing this, I'm kind of thinking about um, the music. So I don't know how I feel about this music, guys. So um, I've been using it for, I believe, like all of Granite Glades since episode two. So let me know how you feel about this music, guys. Are you getting bored of it? Do you want me to find new music? The the reason I use this music is because it's not in copyright. So and like as a YouTuber, you know they're really cracking down on copyright stuff. So the that's the only reason I use this music with the like instead of other music. So if you guys have like a playlist or a specific YouTube video of non copyrighted music. Uh, like, if you don't like the jazz or something like that, like, please do let me know. I do read the comments. There aren't many of them, so I can still keep up. Um, so, yeah, if you guys know of any, I guess, better music that you want me to try and use, then let me know. I'll try and use it, and, uh, but do leave a link. That's the one thing, is leave a link to the actual... Um, music that you want me to check out so this right here what we're doing is the circular building in the middle of the I guess terminal block so this is actually called theme this is center way what we're building right here so it in the middle there's something called theme building or I think it's called theme building Yeah, it is. It, it's called theme building. So basically what theme building is, is I don't really know what it is, but it's like this big circular building in the middle of this, well, almost circle. So um, this circular building, I don't know what it is, but as you might have noticed in the thumbnail, I used the Eden project for this. And uh, the only reason I used that is because it was the only building in, or the only asset in the game that had the same size ish and shape as the actual theme building itself so um if you guys do know of any of a custom asset that is well modeled after theme building after the theme building at lax uh please do let me know i will definitely download it and get it in there so, uh, I think I'm gonna do another silent section, so enjoy!
So this intersection right here, I actually spent a lot of time fiddling with that off camera. And uh, it was a bit too hokey bulky as Biffa would say. Um, it, it really did not like how I was doing it. So essentially, that intersection, it's, it's not completely accurate like the two roads that come in and like do the weird 90 bend or 180 bend they actually are much closer than i was able to get them but essentially this highway was way too close excuse me for some reason um so this highway right here actually had to be moved a lot because it was just too close i had no room to work and uh like in real life this wouldn't be an issue because they could have this actually planned out in actual um like specific measurements whereas this all i have is well one unit equals eight meters so we're working in units of eight meters so as you can imagine space would be quite tight but this section over here was probably the hardest section so far of the entire airport like this section uh it's 13 minutes in the time lapse so that's i don't i don't know i can't actually yeah it's about halfway through the video so this was about this section right here took about i want yeah an hour about an hour and a half this whole recording was about three hours long so this section right here took about an hour and a half not like this highway was no simple task it was very complicated because there's so many overpasses and underpasses and junctions and i don't even know what's going on most of the time with this highway but um yeah this was probably the most complicated part of the entire airport so far with the exception of maybe maybe with the exception of actually no with the exception of nothing this was the hardest part of the entire airport uh a close ish second would be the uh probably the um the what's it called the thing where you have the three roads coming into one i don't know what that's called but over there the thing we just did a while back the last time i was talking um so yeah Th this right here what i'm working on right here this was the worst thing of the entire the entire highway section so this on-ramp no it's an off-ramp no it's an on-ramp <laughs> This on-ramp right here took so long, I I even did something, some stuff off camera with it. It just took so long because it, it, it looks so steep and like trying to get it perfect is very difficult. But uh, we got there in the end and I'm pretty happy with it. So let's continue.
So this was probably my favorite part of the entire build so far was like doing this section and watching it all just slowly but surely come together. Like as you can see, we have a bunch of the highway infrastructure I can't speak today. We have a bunch of the highway infrastructure in and it looks really good if I'm being honest. It looks really real and uh, it looks like something you'd actually see at a real airport. Um, and I'm, I'm really proud of this and like not only does it look good but it's also going to be functional. Um, it's actually going to function as intended. So this part right here, I did have to redo it. Uh, but you know, whatever. A little rebuilding never hurt nobody. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically this section right here, it was angled the wrong way. Because like if I had angled it the way I had originally, it would have hit the runway or the taxiways. And that is not good. So... This is probably my favorite section, and uh, I know the rest of you City Skylines players out there are probably will probably agree with me on this, that this part of a build where you're starting to see it all come together, and it's starting to, like, look good, and it's starting to, you know, make you happy and make you feel accomplished, this was probably the most satisfying part. So, this Eden project right here. It looks kind of weird because, like, I tried for so long to, like, use Move It to get those trees. Um, and then here I'm just trying to find another, like, asset that will fit there because it, with the Eden Project, the trees hang over the road. So, uh, that is one thing I wish you could do. I wish you could, like, select an option that said, no, I don't want any trees. Um... But this area right here is probably the most beautiful area of the entire airport so far. Uh, it, you know, it's the area with all the other stuff. So, like, the biosphere, like, yeah, that didn't really work. So I decided, no, we're going with the Eden Project. Eventually I decided that. Um, I thought about actually using the, um, the big giant radar for the, from the Natural Disasters DLC to like detect meteors, <laughs> but I decided that that would look really stupid. So what I did was I decided to just, to just go for it, go for the Eden Project, and uh, I think it ended up looking really good. That is, if you don't look too closely at the fact that there's trees on top of the road. But, you know, when you're zoomed out, you're not going to be able to see that. Again, if somebody does know of an asset for the theme building, please, please let me know. I really want to make this as realistic as possible. But, um, that wasn't, that just wasn't possible right now. So, I've, we got these parking garages in. And, uh, in order to, you know, make them actually function as intended, I had to extend the roads, which is not the most unrealistic thing ever. This, however, is. I had to get these parking garages lined up so that they would, like, fit and, like, cover up the gaps because there are no gaps there. Uh, it looks really bad when you look closely, but from farther out, I think it looks okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of this. This is the one thing I really don't like about this map, is the way the ground looks. It looks terrible, in my opinion. Like, there's no grass, no nothing, it's just kind of, it's kind of like a desert. I mean, it's supposed to be modeled after LA, and I know LA used to be a desert, so it's probably not too terribly unrealistic. However, I just really didn't like 
how, you know, it just made the whole ground, because, like, that's what City Skylines is about, you know? It's about, like, a utopia sort of thing. I know it's not the most realistic thing ever, but it that's what City Skylines is about, and when you take that away, it makes it kind of, you know, eh. So, that's just something I wanted to comment on. I'll, I'll let you enjoy. So here what I'm trying to do is I was trying to use the observation tower as like the air traffic control tower, but I realized that it was just simply too tall and you know it really just wouldn't look good because it was just too tall and also like something that tall in an airport most certainly would not be allowed. Um, so instead what I decided to do was I decided to just not put in an air traffic control tower, uh, because the air traffic control tower at LAX is actually quite far away, so, yeah, that's what I decided to do, uh, here, I was getting the no road access thing, so what I did was I just simply clipped the road inside of there, and then just used the pads to, you know, connect up to it so people can walk to it from the pads, so, this is possibly my favorite part, detailing. This this is my favorite part because, you know, everyone loves a bit of detailing, right? Everybody loves a bit of detailing. So uh, this is probably the part where it's best fit that I just stay silent and let you enjoy the beauty that is detailing. Although, one quick thing I do want to say is those trees I used, the, uh, I believe they're called alders, uh, either alders or redwoods, they seem to be a bit too tall, so in between episodes, I haven't done it yet, but in between episodes, what I might do is I might, uh, go ahead and replace those trees with something a little shorter so you can actually see the Eden Project from the road, uh, but yeah, for now... I think that'll be good, and we decided to get the, I believe that's the Lazarette Plaza, uh, which we are completely unqualified to get, because the actual Lazarette Plaza in the game, in order to unlock it, if you're not playing with Unlock All, you need to have your, um, you need to have your citizen's average health at, um, I believe it's 30% for three weeks, and I decided not to do that, because... I have seen the effects of doing something like that and trying to unlock it. If you don't know, Biffa did a uh, f an episode of fi uh, City Fix, uh, Fix Your City. He did an episode of that on a person that was trying to unlock the Lazarette Plaza, and it went horribly, horribly wrong. But uh, for now, this is basically the end of the video so hope you guys have enjoyed if you have be sure to smash the like button down below consider subscribing for more content like this and without further ado i will see you dudes next time